Members of the jury, throughout this trial you have heard a number of twisted truths, as the defence liked to call them. And I prefer to call them lies, all of which have come from the mouth of the defendant. Let me take you back, if I may, to lie number one. I had no reason to harm him. Well, as we know, it transpired the victim was having an affair with the defendant's wife for over eight years. What's known in law as motive. Lie number two. I was nowhere near the scene at the time of the attack. Disproven by CCTV and a number of eyewitnesses some of whom you've seen testify before this court. Lie number three. I have never seen the murder weapon before in my life. Again, disproven, this time by outstanding police work and thorough forensic investigation. Now, it's at this point the defendant finds himself cornered. So he introduces us all to lie number four. I was at the scene. I held the weapon, but I blacked out due to my long-term drug habit and my lifelong diabetes. You've guessed it. Disproven, this time by medical experts and the defendant's very own medical records. Members of the jury, what we have on the stand is a pathological liar, a man who has only admitted to some of his untruths to save his own skin and not, as he is making out, to do the right thing. Our victim, Mr. Landy, was no angel, but it is not he who is on trial here. And so, by unravelling the web of lies the defendant has spun, the prosecution conclude he is guilty of murder beyond reasonable doubt, and we ask you, the jury, to find the same. We ask you to reject the defence's plea of manslaughter and see the defendant for what he is. A lying, cold-blooded murderer.